massive shell damage. Go do your thing. That's a pretty turtle. All right, guys, this is my buddy Jason, and uh, we're doing another trap check video. We got a trap right here. Uh, already saw, you can see it's actually moving. Saw the turtle in there, so we're gonna go ahead and get in there and pull this turtle out. Cool. It's always nice when the first trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do anything? Um, I may hand you a weight if you can just, we might have more than one in here too. We got an old female. See how pretty it is? Oh yeah. But that's max size for a female. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle her to that end. Take the weight off, pull this in. There we go. Just pull that in, and then I'll take the trap and this little bundle of joy. That's an old gal. I really like getting these old ones um, because these turtles were here, you know, before this bridge was here. They're so old. So they predate, you know, the development around here, which I think is super cool. <clears throat> yep. So we got a snapper and a slider. Okay. So now the part you gotta be careful with is extracting them out of the trap. I thought these didn't bite. No, they no, never. <laughs> the name is weird. Oh wow, look at that. Massive, massive shell damage. You see how it's like cracked, yeah, almost like a hinge? Yeah. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Over the years I've noticed females are way more defensive than males. Usually when you pull them out, you weigh them, you measure them. Males are gonna just kind of lay there. Females, you know, you watch her over the next few minutes. She's gonna be kind of constantly coming at me and trying to defend herself. And it's just kind of a weird thing that I've noticed, yeah. but um, reptiles have personality. They sure do. She's gonna get really irate here in a second. That's fascinating. I wanna know what happened. Did she get hit by a car or maybe that happened when it was a hatchling or something? Interesting. So this is an adult female, and that's yes. about as big as she'll get. Yeah, yeah. For most females, this is about as big as they're going to get. You know, most females are between 40 and 50 pounds when full grown. Um, some are less, some are more. Um, but this is what I consider typical um, size for a female. I'm going to clean her off so I can look at that shell wound. And our Georgia alligator snappers are actually really pretty. They tend to develop this nice yellow. So Jason is going to release this turtle. Alright fella. Fella, actually girl. <laughs> Alright girl. Go do your thing. She's going to go right back to where she lives. Probably under those bushes. Yeah. Alright guys. So I'm walking up on this trap here. This one is a shallower set than I typically do but they can still work. So we'll see if we have anything in here. Usually shallow ones like this are good for small turtles too. And we need to get a smaller one. All right, so we got an empty trap, which, yeah, which happens. I knew when I set this one, it was like the odds were like 70, 30 
in favor of empty, so. Are all these uh, upstream from here? There's one more upstream from here. Let me see. Okay. So we'll check the far one first, just to stay consistent with our downstream stuff. All right, so we have our deep water set over here. Got a bunch of bubbles coming out from under it. It's always a good sign. It usually means alligator snapping turtle. Whoa! <clears throat> Looks like our bait is intact. Very surprised. I don't see anything in it. But that's just what I can see so far. <clears throat> Sardines were open. Yeah, nothing came for it. That's part of trapping. Sometimes you get nothing. Do not see anything in this one either. No trouble. Not that I can tell. Let's see. It's funny, I always want to have a trap right in front of the car and be able to like just pull up and the trap in front of the car <laughs> has a turtle. Never happens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Never happens. All right, so now we have pulled Four traps, we got two left. We got what looked like a big turtle in this one. I saw a huge nose sticking up. I thought it was a log, but I thought it was a log. But, and it's crazy, like the bait's untouched. Go figure. All right, let's take a look. Oh, okay, another little one. That's a pretty turtle. Yep. Yep, keep pulling, keep pulling. Nice. That is a really nice looking one. This is like a whole city of cotton mouse. I remember this one. All right, lift it up, nice and high. Nobody's home. Okay, it happens. Well, it doesn't look like anybody even went in, so it's all good. Okay, now we get to carry all this stuff back. So first one is midline carapace length. So you measure right down the middle. On this turtle, it is 439. How wide this turtle is. 374. Head width 135. 320. So going by pre-cloacal tail length, this could be a small male. Thirty-eight point one. Next thing we're gonna back over. All right, so we're releasing this snapper. He's getting some underwater footage of this guy. You can see we got like a little section of clear water, and the snapper is just kind of navigating it. I'm gonna run interference. Yep. All right, so we're gonna let this turtle go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you know when videos like this come out. Also, subscribe to my friend Jason, Southeastern Reptile Rescue. He does great videos, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, peace.